Nowadays, life can get very, very hectic with all the tasks that we need to get done. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to use one of my favorite softwares on the internet. I know I say that a lot, but this one helps me organize my life much better. It is called Todoist. It is a place where you can better organize your tasks. You can create lists so you can better organize your personal and your work life. If you've ever used Evernote or Notion, it is a bit similar, but it has some other features. And you can also label and filter different tasks in different manners for you to better organize them regarding your urgency. You can do a lot of things with these tasks. You can set priorities, you can set dates. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the basic functions of Todoist. I'm going to be teaching you how to use the free version. But as always, there are some affiliate links on the description box down below for you guys to use. So I'm going to make my face disappear. See you guys at the end so I can show you my screen a bit better. This right here is Todoist. I've already logged in. As I told you, there is a free version that you can use and there is a paid version. First of all, let's create a task. A task is the backbone of Todoist. It all relies on tasks regarding your personal and your work life. So if you click right here on the top left, right below your profile, you can add a task. And something that I find really cool about Todoist is that you can use hotkeys in order to access the tools much faster. For example, if you want to add a task, you just click the letter Q and just like that, you can create a new task. I'm gonna create one for my personal life. We're gonna call it get up a bit earlier. Right here, you can set the date. The default is for today, but you can click on tomorrow, this weekend, next week, and you can click on a specific date right here on the calendar. For example, if I wanna do it tomorrow, and I want to repeat it, I just click on this option right here. And since I want to get up a bit earlier, not every day, but, ju but just the weekdays, I'm going to click on custom. And if I want to set a specific days, I just click here on week and I'm going to click from Monday through Friday. Right here, you can specify if you want your task to end. If you click on a specific date, that is when your task is going to end. But I'm going to leave it open, so I just click on never and let's just save it. As you see right here, Todoist already understood that I want to get up a bit earlier every weekday, not on the weekends. And you can set a time for the task to be done at. So I want to get up, let's say, at 6 a.m. In the paid version, you can change the duration. And right here, you can change the time zone as well. I'm going to click on America and Bogota. That's where I'm located. And I'm going to just click on Save. Next to the date, we have some priorities. If we click right here, we have four kinds of priorities depending on the urgency of the task. This one is not as urgent as other tasks. So let's leave it at three, let's say. And you can add reminders as well for Todoist to remind you of the task. You can leave it at, at the time of the task or some minutes before. Right now we can add some labels. For example, I'm going to create a label that is called Santiago. That is my name. So Santiago needs to get up a bit earlier every weekday. And the priority is priority three because it's not that urgent. Once we're finished, we can add the task. And just like that, we have a list of tasks that we need to follow. Let's add another one. Let's say we need to go grocery shopping. I need to do it tomorrow and I want to do it midday. I'm going to set the priority to one because I don't have any groceries left. So I really need to do it. And just like that, we can add a second task. And once you've added your tags, you can check them all in the inbox tab right here. Another thing that you can do on Todoist is create projects that are made up of various tasks. We're going to create a project right here with the plus sign. The project is going to be called get feeder. You can add a color for your project. I like the violet one. You can add it to different workspaces. Right now I just have the My Projects workspace because I'm just working on it on my own. And you can add parent projects to different projects so they are better organized. For example, a bigger project to get fitter would be to start modeling, let's say. So that would be the parent project and below that would be the one get fitter. You can use the board layout or the list layout. Personally, I like the list layout a bit more and we can add some tasks to this specific project. In order for me to get fitter, I need to write my bike to work. Let's say you can add a short description. Avoid using your car. Use your bike more. This one is a task that needs to be every weekday. So once again, I'm going to click on all weekdays and leave weekends unchecked. And I find this to be a really high priority. I'm just going to add that task right there. Let's add a second one. Construct a better dietary plan. This one is a task that I need to do every day in order to get fit. 
I'm gonna leave it on every day. And once again, the priority is high. I'm gonna add that task right there. And let's add a third one. Lift some weights, get stronger is the description for that task. And I wanna do this task every other day. So let's go right here, click on week and every other day I'm gonna lift weights. And just like that, we have a project created with different tasks in them. Once you're done with one of the tasks, let's say I don't wanna ride my bike anymore, I just click this tick sign right here. And to do this is gonna tell me that my task is completed for today, because I, as I set it up for all weekdays, tomorrow is Friday, so I need to do it again. Next occurrence is tomorrow, as to do this is telling me right here at the bottom. I can also undo it, if I haven't done it today, and it's gonna uncheck the completed task. Right here you can see all the projects that you've created, they are organized on a list type. To wrap up this tutorial, we're gonna be checking up the upcoming tab right here on the left. These are all the tasks that are upcoming in my life. We can see the dates on the top right here. Today is Thursday the 26th, and if you hover over it, we have three tasks that need to be done. These are the ones that need to be done, ride my bike to work, construct a better dietary plan and get a bit earlier. Lifting weights and grocery shopping are for tomorrow. And once again, if you've already done one of these tasks, you just click the tick right here and it's done. If I hover on the top right here, I just have two tasks left. If you just wanna check the task for today, you click on the today tab right here. These are the ones that I need to do today. And on the upcoming tab, you can see further away in the future. That is pretty much how you use the basic functions of Todoist. It is a really well-organized app because it lets you organize your life as well. I really like the layout, the colors, and the way that you interact with it is very intuitive. It has helped me create better habits throughout my life. Once again, if you want to use the paid version, there is an affiliate link in the description down below. If you like these tutorials, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, my name is Santiago. Thank you very much for being here. I want to read all your comments down below and see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye bye.